Thank you for your interest in JobScope. Today we're going to look at business intelligence and reporting tools. This is the home page for JobScope Enterprise Edition version 10. As you can see, the home page is filled with KPIs specific for this user. Uh, we have a list of KPIs which we can add to this particular uh, group of KPIs. We also have the ability to secure these KPIs based on your user security and your login. But let's take a closer look at one of these uh, KPIs and see how it might be beneficial for us. We'll look at annual sales first. Let's specifically look at the year 2006. We'll drill back into that information and we'll see the data that makes up this KPI. We can look at a specific month. We can drag column headers to the top and sort by that column. We can also see the data behind that makes up that uh, particular data set. It's very powerful and it really eliminates a lot of reporting in JobScope just because key metrics are kept uh, close to your fingertips. Now let's look at the information that makes up these KPIs. Let's drill back into more information about a particular order or job or project that we're working on. As I open the order analysis module, you'll see a browse open up and I'm going to do a search for a particular job that I know is on my shop floor currently. I found it so now I'm going to open that up. You can immediately see that I'm getting information on sales budgets, actuals as they're rolling in, what is recognized, uh, really up-to-date, real-time costing information on this particular project or job. On the left-hand pane you can see there's additional information that uh, I can learn about this particular job. But let's look at some detailed information about this job. Here we're going to look at hourly transactions. These are hourly labor transactions that were actually posted to this job or project. As you can see, uh, we can sort columns. We can also add columns that may not be visible. In this case, I, I'm going to add a last name uh, to the header and I'm going to put that beside employee number because employee number doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I need the last names. Also, uh, we can drag column headers to the top and sort by uh, that column. In this case, we're sorting by category. It's a very powerful tool for filtering and for sorting. Um, also, one of the great things that customers really love about the product is the ability to export in many different formats. We can right click here and we can immediately print or we could export to Excel. I'll export to Excel by picking an Excel file name, saving it to the appropriate folder. You'll see this data populate automatically in Excel pre-formatted. And uh, from this point, obviously, we can perform calculations, create pivot tables, graphs, whatever you normally do in Excel. It's a very powerful tool. Uh, customers use this frequently. Uh, to glean data and then manipulate it uh, as they see fit. I think the key here is that any data that's collected against this job is available for you to view in order analysis. We could look at any of these particular items, estimate changes, uh, job inventory, short materials. The key is that users can come to this module and readily see what's going on with their project and what they need to take action on. And we've really just scratched the surface of the business intelligence and reporting tools available in JobScope. We hope you've enjoyed this time. If you have further questions, please give us a call at JobScope today.